This lesson is on dot diagrams. Your learning targets are, I can determine the number of valence electrons, and I can draw dot diagrams for the elements. First, let's start off with a little bit of a bond review. Remember that a bond is a connection between two or more atoms. Bonds keep atoms together through an attraction force. Bonds are formed through electrons, specifically the valence electrons. And valence electrons are their most important electrons. They are the ones that are involved in bonds. So how do you determine the number of valence electrons? It is determined by the column number. So column one, every element in column one has one valence electron. Every element in column two has two valence electrons. We're gonna move all the way over to column 13. Every element in column 13 has three valence electrons. Column 14 has four valence electrons. 15 has five, 16 has six, 17 has seven, and 18 has eight. What I want you to be careful with is valence electrons is different than the charge. So make sure you have somehow differentiated that, okay? Valence electrons is the same as the column number. How do you draw dot diagrams? The one rule you have to remember is you have to put one dot on each side before placing two on any side. So the first thing to do is to determine the number of valence electrons an element has. So if we look for sodium on the periodic table, sodium is over on the left, it's in column one, so it has one valence electron. All right, so to draw a dot diagram, you draw the symbol. So the symbol for sodium is Na. And it gets one dot per valence electron. So we're going to use one dot. That's the dot diagram for sodium. Let's do magnesium. So we're going to go to the periodic table. We're going to find magnesium. Magnesium is in column two. So it gets two valence electrons. Okay, now we do the symbol for magnesium, which is Mg, and it gets two dots. So this is where this bullet becomes important, where you have to put one dot on each side before placing two. So I'm gonna place one dot on one side, and then place the second dot on a different side. Okay, it doesn't matter which side, it just has to be a different side than your first dot. The other thing to think about when you do dot diagrams is you want them to be relatively neat so they're easily so they're easily readable. So every time you have one, imagine an imaginary box around your element and you're always placing the dots on the sides of the box. Let's try another one, aluminum. So let's find aluminum on the periodic table and we're over here. So how many valence electrons? three. Okay, draw the symbol for aluminum, which is Al, and we get three dots. So again, remember that you have to put one dot on each side before placing two. So we're going to go one, two, three. And remember that we have an imaginary box, and my dots are on the sides of the box. Let's take a look at nitrogen. All right, so go to the periodic table, find nitrogen. Nitrogen is right here, so how many valence electrons? We have five. Draw the symbol for nitrogen, which is N, and we're gonna place five dots. Remember, one dot on each side before placing two. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. I have one dot on each side, but I need five, so now I can double up, five. And again, remember that they are on the sides, of my imaginary box. Let's take a look at oxygen. Find oxygen on the periodic table. All right, it's right here, so it has six valence electrons. All right, draw my symbol, O, and we're gonna place six dots. Remember, one dot on each side before I place two. Six dots. All right, let's try chlorine. Find chlorine on the periodic table. 
So it has seven valence electrons. Draw the symbol for chlorine, which is Cl, and we're going to place seven dots. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And our last example here, argon. Find argon on the periodic table. And it's in the last column, so it has eight valence electrons. So the symbol was AR, and we're going to put eight dots. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.